We looked at our top 10 baits for 2023. Now we're gonna look at our top five that I just didn't like. So if you can give me a Christmas gift, click that subscribe button. It's free, it helps me, helps the channel, and I'm trying to grow, but I need you as a subscriber. So click that subscribe button and become part of the team and part of family. So what are the five baits I didn't like this year? Well, at number five is the Fish Lab BBZ Bio Rat. Just didn't like it at all. I thought it was heavy, I thought it was bulky, I thought it caught too many weeds. I found it just expensive, overpriced, and I really didn't think it was worth the money. And with so many other baits that are have the same type of style bait that that is, that are less expensive and actually work better, I thought that the Fish Lab BBZ Biorat was just blah. I didn't like it at all. So my fifth bait is the Fish Lab BBZ Biorat. At number four is a bait company I didn't know much of and still don't know much of. It's the G-Rat Proper Buzz. Now this was a buzz bait that also had that whopper plopper in the back. It had two things that spun at all times. It was big, it was bulky, it caught a lot of weeds, it didn't really work well, and I didn't catch anything on it. I mean zero. I didn't get a sniff. I didn't get a bite. I didn't get someone even to look at. I couldn't get a turtle to come up and hit it. So at number four is the G-Rat Proper Buzz. My third bait that I did not like for 2023 is the Guggen Baits Happy Trailer. Now, I don't want to throw shade on Guggen at all because there's a lot of people that don't like Guggen. I might be one of them. But in terms of trailer, this did nothing. It didn't do anything on their ch their chatterbait, their so-called chatterbait. It didn't do anything on a Z-Man chatterbait. It didn't offer anything with to give extra substance to a bait if you're a trailer. Found it completely just one of, if not the worst trailer bait I've ever used. It had no action. Now it did have scent and that could help you catch some fish, but for me, action is what I want. So my third bait that I hated, and I don't like to use that word or disliked in 2023 was the Guggen Baits Happy Trailer. So the second worst bait I bought or group of baits that I bought were the ones I bought from Amazon this year. I bought a lot of baits that were either not painted right or were very inexpensive or were chatter baits or whatever it was. And while I appreciate that Amazon puts those on there. And there are a lot of name brand baits you can get on Amazon now, but the ones that you've never heard of just aren't worth buying. If they don't have a name brand, really, they're cheap. They're cheaply made. They don't have the action. They don't look good and really they hurt you in fishing because you buy them, don't catch any fish, you're mad that you spent that money on them even though they're cheap and then not only do you throw them away in the end but you get discouraged about fishing. And while I want to introduce people to the outdoors and to go fishing and I think going someplace and buying the right stuff and getting it as cheap as possible is the right thing to do, I don't think you should do it on Amazon. I think there's plenty of opportunities on Tackle Warehouse and Bass Pro and all those other places that have great deals during the year that you can buy the tackle that you want at a better price. You just have to go look for it. But my number two is all the baits I bought from Amazon this year. And the bait I disliked the most, I was gonna say hate, but I didn't, disliked the most. This one is shocking to me because the, the baits before this were some of the baits the best baits I've ever used. For me, the worst bait that came out this year was the Buka Weedless Baby Bullshad. And the reason why is I didn't think it had good action. I thought that it stayed and just looked like a silhouette in the water and didn't paddle. Whereas the Weedless one needed to be used with braided line, which I don't mind, but heavy, thick braided line. And you needed to reel it in really quick. And it didn't have the action. It didn't do anything for me. This was probably one of the most disappointing baits I've ever used, only because I have original Baby Bull Shad at an all-time high. Probably one of my top three baits I've ever used. Probably, probably the bait that I've caught the most bass with, too. So when I found out the Weedless one was coming out, I was extremely happy. But the Weedless one does nothing. I've caught no fish on it for the whole year. I've used it so many times it's not even funny. But just didn't do it for me. So what are the top five baits you didn't like? Because we've re we've reviewed a lot of baits this year. Which ones did you like? Which ones did you like? Comment below and tell me what you think. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. Happy holidays. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.